Hello, I'm Larry with Phoenix with another Tips and Tricks. Today's topic comes to us from Penny in Sydney, Australia. She's having some trouble with getting her ducting to attach to her R200 and then also her Guardian R. So we're going to talk about attaching ducting today. All of our R-series units use the same outlet collar and ducting. You have a duct ring and you have the clips where it attaches in. When you attach it, you need to attach, capture underneath the clips on the bottom, and then they snap into the one on the top. To attach the lay flat duct, you push the duct in through the inside of the duct ring, fold it back over, then I take and attach the bottom underneath the clips, push it up, snap it into place, and that's it. Sometimes you'll find that the duct ring will snap off on the top. It could be that these two legs on the top have worn down a little bit and they're not completely capturing the duct ring. One of the things you can do is give the duct ring a bit of a squeeze and that should bring the tension up so it'll latch in on the top. The R175, R200, and R250 have a lid with a series of tabs that will accept 12 inch flex duct. To attach it, you simply take your flex duct and you snap your first reinforcing ring underneath the tab. Because the airflow is in, when the unit's operating, it'll actually work to pull the duct to the unit. The other unit Penny talked about was the Guardian R. It also uses a duct ring and uses 10 inch lay flat duct, but the attachment of the duct ring is a little bit different. It's got a latch that captures it on the top. Again, you take the lay flat duct, feed it through the inside of the duct ring, wrap it around the edge, on this unit, instead of capturing up from the bottom like the R200, it sits down into a trough and then it pushes in and gets captured by this little lip. Now I saw a picture where actually some people were putting a piece of cardboard or something in there to maintain the tension. That means there's something up with that lift with the durometer, the hardness of that plastic. Send me an email and uh, We'll get that straightened out if you're having that problem. Another option you have if you have a unit that uses a 10 inch lay flat and you want to run into say like a flex duct so you can go into another unit or a longer duct rung, we make what we call a duct adapter. You attach the duct adapter the same way you did with the lay flat duct, feed it in through the center wrap it around to the outside, clip it into place. Now with the duct adapter, you can take up to like a 12 inch flex duct, feed it into the, the duct ring, and then you've got a slide so you can lock it down and clamp down on your flex duct. This way you can duct from one unit into another. Before we're at it, I thought I'd also cover how you can duct air using lay flat out of an Air Max or our centrifugal air mover. For this, you need to use our 14 inch lay flat and a 36 inch bungee strap. I take the unit, I lay the strap underneath it, take my 14 inch lay flat, Snap it on. Air Max, you do essentially the same thing. Take and put your bungee strap underneath it. Take your 14 inch lay flat. Put it up, under, and around. Bring your bungee strap around so it's capturing your lay flat.
out of one of our dehumidifiers, you should limit the length from about 25 to 30 feet on lay flat duct. Keep your runs as straight as possible and that'll have the least impact on the operation of the dehumidifier. As far as air movers and centrifugals, you run it as long as you feel comfortable running it and getting the airflow that you want. That's our tips and tricks for today. If you have any suggestions, send us an email and uh, we'll get back to you and do your own edition of tips and tricks. Thank you.